Do you want to know how to make organic fertilizers at home in just four minutes? Welcome to a world where nurturing plants doesn't mean harming the environment. Organic fertilizers derived from natural sources are a friend to both your garden and the wider world. Unlike their synthetic counterparts, these fertilizers release nutrients slowly, reducing the risk of over-fertilization and ensuring your plants get a balanced diet. Now let's talk about the stars of today's show, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, collectively known as NPK. Nitrogen fuels leaf and stem growth, phosphorus is all about root development and blooming, while potassium ensures overall health and disease resistance. These three are the backbone of any good fertilizer and we're going to show you how to make them right at home in under four minutes. So if you're ready to give your plants a natural boost while doing your bit for the environment, without further ado, let's dive right into the first recipe. First up, we have nitrogen. This is an essential nutrient that promotes healthy leaf growth. So how can we make nitrogen fertilizer at home? It's surprisingly simple and you might already have the main ingredient in your kitchen, coffee grounds. If you're a coffee drinker, those leftover grounds you usually toss out could be put to good use in your garden. Not a coffee drinker? No worries, most coffee shops are more than willing to give away their used coffee grounds for free. Now let's get into the making of our nitrogen fertilizer. Step one is gathering your materials. You'll need used coffee grounds, a bucket or a large bowl and water. Step two involves mixing the coffee grounds with water. For this, you'll need to add one part coffee grounds to two parts water. The water helps to dilute the acidity of the coffee grounds, making them more suitable for use as a fertilizer. Once you've mixed your coffee grounds and water, it's time for step three, letting it steep. This is similar to making a large pot of coffee, but instead of drinking it, you're going to feed it to your plants. Let the mixture sit for at least 24 hours. This gives the nutrients in the coffee grounds time to infuse into the water. After the steeping process, you're ready for step four, straining. This step is optional, but it can help to prevent any unwanted coffee ground residue from getting into your soil. Simply pour the mixture through a strainer and collect the liquid. This liquid is your homemade nitrogen fertilizer. The final step, step five, is application. You can apply this homemade nitrogen fertilizer to your garden just as you would any other liquid fertilizer. It's best used on leafy plants that require a lot of nitrogen, like spinach or lettuce. And there you have it, homemade nitrogen fertilizer. Next, we move on to phosphorus. Next, we're making phosphorus fertilizer. This nutrient is crucial for energy transfer and storage in plants. Now, you might be wondering, how do we get our hands on phosphorus? The answer is bone meal. Bone meal is a substance made from the steamed and crushed bones of animals, typically cattle. It's rich in phosphorus, which is exactly what we need for our homegrown fertilizer. So how do we go about turning bone meal into phosphorus fertilizer? Well, it's surprisingly simple. First, we need to gather our materials. You'll need bone meal, which you can buy from your local garden center or online. You'll also need a bucket, a shovel, and some water. Start by filling your bucket about halfway with bone meal. Then add water until the bone meal is thoroughly soaked. It should have the consistency of a sludgy paste. If it's too dry, add more water. If it's too wet, add more bone meal. Once you've got your bone meal mixture just right, it's time to let it sit. Cover the bucket and leave it in a warm, dry place for about two weeks. This is when the magic happens. As the bone meal breaks down, it releases phosphorus into the mixture. After two weeks, your phosphorus fertilizer is ready to use. You can apply it directly to your garden soil or mix it with compost for an extra nutrient boost. Just remember, phosphorus is a slow-release nutrient, so it'll take some time for your plants to absorb it. But don't worry, the wait is worth it. Your plants will thank you with vibrant blooms and hearty fruits, and you can rest easy knowing that you're using a fertilizer that's not only effective, but also sustainable and free from harmful chemicals. And that's how you make homemade phosphorus fertilizer. Let's move on to our final nutrient, potassium. Finally, we're on to potassium. This nutrient is important for overall plant health. It's like the multivitamin of your garden, playing a key role in several plant functions such as water balance, enzyme activation and disease resistance. So how do we capture this powerhouse nutrient and turn it into a usable fertilizer? It's simple, banana peels. Yes, you heard that right. Those banana peels you usually throw away are a gold mine of potassium. So let's get started. 
The first step, of course, is to gather your banana peels. You'll need quite a few, so start saving them up. Once you have a hefty collection, it's time to move on to the next step. Now you'll want to dry those peels out. Think of it as sunbathing for your banana skins. This can be done by simply laying them out in a sunny spot until they're dry and brittle. This might take a few days, depending on the weather. Patience is a virtue, my friends. Once your peels are thoroughly dried, it's time to grind them up. You can use a blender, a food processor, or even a good old mortar and pestle. What you're aiming for is a fine powder. It's this powder that's going to provide that potassium boost to your plants. Now you're ready to use your homemade potassium fertilizer. You can sprinkle it directly onto your soil or mix it into your compost pile. The great thing here is that it's totally organic and free from any harmful chemicals. So, there you go. You've just made your own potassium fertilizer. It's a fun and eco-friendly way to feed your plants the nutrients they need. And just think about all those banana peels you've saved from the landfill. And there you have it, homemade potassium fertilizer. Now let's summarize what we have learned today. Now that you've learned how to make your own organic NPK fertilizers, let's quickly recap. First off, we dove into the making of nitrogen fertilizer. Remember, this one is a real green thumbs best friend. It's all about those green leaves and healthy growth. We started off with some coffee grounds, a rich source of nitrogen, and mixed it with water. We then let that concoction steep for a couple of days, giving the nitrogen time to infuse into the water. After that, it was as simple as straining out the grounds and feeding our plants with this nitrogen-rich brew. Next up was the phosphorus fertilizer. Vital for the development of roots and flowers, phosphorus is a must-have in your gardening toolkit. We took some bone meal, which is packed full of this important nutrient, and mixed it with water. We let it sit for a day or two, allowing the phosphorus to leach into the water. After that, it was just a matter of straining out the bone meal and watering our plants with the phosphorus-enriched liquid. Last, but certainly not least, we tackled the potassium fertilizer. This is the key to a plant's overall health, boosting their immune system and helping them resist disease. We used banana peels, a fantastic source of potassium, and mixed them with water. After letting the mixture sit for a few days, we strained out the peels and were left with a potassium-rich liquid to feed our plants. These homemade fertilizers are a great way to provide your plants with the nutrients they need to thrive and the best part, they're 100% organic. No harsh chemicals, no synthetic additives, just pure natural goodness. It's important to remember that while these fertilizers are powerful, they're also gentle. You can use them regularly without risking damage to your plants. As a general rule of thumb, applying these fertilizers once every two weeks during the growing season should provide your plants with a steady supply of essential nutrients. The benefits of these homemade fertilizers are manifold. Not only will your plants be healthier and more productive, but you'll also be reducing waste and contributing to a healthier environment. These fertilizers are a testament to the power of nature and the incredible things that can be achieved with a little bit of ingenuity and a whole lot of love for our green friends. There you have it, folks. With these simple recipes, you can create your own organic fertilizers at home in just four minutes. Your plants and the environment will thank